Guys, at Absolute MMA, we highly encourage people to train uh, both gi and no gi. So, from the sport perspective, from the self-defense per perspective, it's really, really important we learn both. So, talking about self-defense, uh, living in Melbourne in a cold weather like this, we know people here wear jackets, they wear suits the whole year, so it's pretty similar. If you check that, it's pretty similar than the use of the gi. So all the techniques in gi can be easy applicable on those kind of clothes. Of course, the no gi uh, aspect bring you to a person who is not wearing a jacket or not wearing a suit. So you can apply the techniques on self-defense in the same way. For the sport perspective, I believe uh, when you train both, uh, you get uh, when you get the gi, you get that good adjustment of the position. And also for the no gi, you have the positional body control stuff as well. It's really important for some people in gi sometimes. Um, it evolve and improve a lot your pressure and your positional stuff. Plus, uh, you improve a lot your grips as well. Yeah, I think um, it, as a very simple way of thinking of it, like in no gi, it's easier for someone to slip away and escape. So it makes you be, you have to be really good at your offense and attacks to stay tight and in the gi it's really hard to escape from someone because of all the friction and it makes you really good at defending and escaping and, and so on and together you become a complete athlete exactly we've been talking about the sport aspect and the self-defense aspect of, of jiu-jitsu to train in our jiu-jitsu classes we train pure grappling uh, and we also offer at Absolute the MMA classes where you get to train your grappling with someone who's obviously in a nice way trying to to throw strikes and you get to practice using that against someone who is who's, uh, striking. 